Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen I had like to quickly introduce myself My name Agus Ramlan I'm from Universitas 11 Maret Department of Electrical Engineering uh, In this afternoon I want to make uh, you a short presentation about my paper the title is IoT based building energy monitoring and controlling system using LoRa modulation and MQTT protocol. Uh, this paper written by me, Agus Ramelan and Ferry Andrianto, Chico Hermanu, uh, Muhammad Hamka Ibrahim, Joko Slamet Saputra and Oki Satyawan. My presentation is divided into four parts. First, I will start with introductions, then I will look at the system design and result and discussion, and finally, uh, conclusions. In this, this is the uh, introductions. The first, electricity demand in Indonesia, especially, is projected to increase for more than six times for 2017 until 2050. And then monitoring electrical energy and control uh, the electrical equipment can be a way to optimize the electric usage. IoT can realize sense management anytime and anywhere through the sensing device, microcontroller, and the network. Besides that, the research on the IoT-based energy management has been conducted by several other researchers. Uh, for example, a smart home energy management, or also known as HEMS, that is able to analyze electricity usage and historical. And secondly, in energy management system, or also known as uh, EMS, uh, and then consisting it consists of Arduino Uno, XB Pro for the network, ACS for the sensor, and NE LabVIEW for the dashboards. An energy management system was designed in the form of real uh, time load monitoring and also for forecasting. And then an IoT device for monitoring energy consumption in some place or in buildings using the ESP X266 serial 2 for the Wi-Fi board and then energy management system for the heating, ventilation and air conditioning air conditioning or also known as HVAC and then for the system design the design of the in this research use the LoRa gateway uh, LoRa gateway for the Wi-Fi communications where LoRa stands for the long range is a uh, unique and OSM modulation for formats created by Samtex technology and then modulation generates uh, using FM modulations and then the core in the processing produces a uh, stable frequency value and the transmission methods can also use the passive keying or so known as PSK or frequency shift keying or FCS key uh, and others. LoRa was chosen because it has several advantages including first is low power consumption, low data rates and wider uh, range. As for the protocol used in the internet communications we use the MQTT protocol MQTT protocol is running from message queuing telemetry transport uh, it is a protocol that runs on a TCP or IP and the MQTT protocol also specially designed for the machine to machines or M2M communications uh, we choose the MQTT protocol because it can send uh, faster uh, with limited uh, resources. This is in the architecture for the system design. Uh, this is there are two nodes, and its nodes consisting the sensor, microcontroller, or the LoRa cell. 
monitoring parameters include the power usage uh, and the number and uh, it convert to the number of electricity bills the system used two nodes and one gateway yeah. two nodes and one gateway dragino lg oak one and lora gateway and then each node consists of arduino uno as a microcontroller dragino lora cell is a uh, link to the gateway communication for the microcontroller to the gateway using use lora shields dragino lora shields and the uh, current sensor uh, voltage sensor to read the current and voltage and also relay module to control the loads to be controlled yeah, and the, to control the load the gateway type for this work is we using the dragino for the publication of dragino it's suitable for indonesia frequency uh, the frequency is 950 megahertz and then uh, data from the gateway sent to the MQTT open source dashboard or uh, it is the thing speaks yeah thing speaks thing speaks can access from the PC or the application in the Android the live picture at on the left image is a scale uh, scale lab product uh, lab scale prototype yes and the right image is a finished prototype with enclosure this is not a very uh, steady enclosure and uh, each node consists for power outlet one two three and four Okay, in this session about the result and discussions, we focus on the sensor testing. Yes. It consists to sensor, voltage sensor, and current sensor. The testings, uh, testing of the voltage sensor are uh, executed by comparing measurement on the sensor and digital multimeter or voltmeter for several times. In case we 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 do it for the five times, the aim is to get the best value of the accuracy. The test was carried out with five experiments. After testing the voltage sensor, the test results obtained as the sounds in this table. The area of value is calculated by summing, well, summing for the five rows and divided by five so therefore uh, based on the this table uh, the error value of the accuracy is 1.24 percent and the next for the current sensor testing uh, the error value of the current sensor sensing first sensor accuracy is 2.60 percent and the third is power measurement power is calculated by the real power equations it is uh, it is the real power equations which is the multiplications of the effective voltage uh, and effective current and power factor or cos p the effective voltage and current be taken from the be, uh, table before yeah, in the voltage and the current testing when the power factor is taken from the average power factor, yeah, uh, especially in Indonesia, the results of the power calculation shown in this table. So the error value of the power accuracy is uh, 3.30%. And then the error value is calculated by summing okay, all measurement data and this is in the dashboard in the things picks of power measurement power data will be updated in real time and automatically uh, data updating can be done with a discrete schemes or an accumulative scheme depending on the desired specifications and the graphic on the things picks uh, can be exported 
adapted in the ex uh, csv extension so we can uh, mining the data uh, for the ex uh, especially uses and finally is the calculations yeah this work is designed to functions to measure and control voltage current power energy and electricity rates or bill uh, from a single piece power line in a building using LoRa modulations. This device is a low cost IoT device consisting of two electricity energy sensor modules, a microcontroller, a LoRa Wi Fi communications module, and a gateway. LoRa gateway. IoT devices are used to collect data uh, to support efficient energy management and are proven to function well uh, because they produce reliable data and smoothly. This work was supported by PNBP Research Grant from Universitas uh, 11 Maret. So we would like we would we would like to thanks for the support. Also, we would like thanks to Internet of Things IoT IoT Laboratory of Faculty of Engineering Universitas 11 Maret. Thank you. It is enough for my presentations. Thank you for your attention. Good afternoon and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.